Thanks, Conscience. Shot this to can help you. Can you describe the front of the store for me? I'm having a hard time finding it. Um, it's 32 South C Avenue, um, and it's got Trump shop signs all over it, and there's a trailer out front of the parking lot. There's Crest no Street way. There's Walgreens. no way. I've driven by three times. I have not seen it. Yeah, it's Crest Street from Walgreens. and then How many, right how many, Tr how many Trump signs are out there? Uh, they're on the front of the building. There's probably six or eight. Not nowhere near enough for me to see it. And then there's a uh, big Trump banner across the top of the building. Well, we're going to need to double up. Or, <laughs> not, or not, I'm not going to be able to find it. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing this afternoon? Uh, Can we get you to double? Working? Can we get you to double it up? Double what up? The signs and the banners. I'm trying to get in there. And I can't find the place because you have these little small Trump signs. And I can't find it and I need to buy my stuff. I'm literally right off the side of the road next to El Tequila. You know it all? Absolutely, I know it. Well, then I'm next door to El Tequila. I don't know how you passed it three times. Because <laughs> you don't have any signs out. Man, there's signs all over the front of the building. There's a trailer out front with flags on it. Absolutely like not. Flags. Absolutely not. I've driven by three times, as I said previously. You need to have more signs. I want to okay. come in there. I want to thank spend you. my money. Okay, thank you. I can appreciate I, can you. I order from the phone? Huh? Can I just order from you on the phone? You leave it out front and I'll pick it up? <laughs> no. Why? What's wrong with you, man? What's going on with you? I'm trying to get in there and get my merchandise. Okay, then stop in and get it. Well, you got no signs. And no one can see that it's a real store. Are you serious, man? Yes. I'm trying to get down there. I have had it Where up to at? here with... Oh, driving around. What do you mean, driving around? I'm driving up and down the streets looking for this store. I've been looking at my phone. I'm across the street from the Walgreens and the Taco John's next to El Tequila's. So if you know Owa Taco... You know exactly where it's at. Oh, I've seen the Taco John's because they have a sign. I've seen the Walgreens because they have a sign. You guys don't have a sign. Yo, do you need me to see if I could hurry up and order one of them big steel signs that they got on all the other businesses and have it erected out in the front yard for this little pop-up for two months? Yeah, that would be great. Oh, all right. We got a store in Rochester, too. All the way in Buffalo, too. Brainerd? You got all these stores, but you don't have any signs? Is that true? Here. Trump shop. There's so can help you. No, just calling to let you know that I've reported you on Facebook for not having any signs. Okay. So now, you, uh, are you, your Facebook are you a Republican will be or you're just an asshole? Well, I'm Republican. Okay. Well, I, I I don't get it, Buzz. I don't get it. If you know this place so well, I've never had a customer call and complain that I need to put more signs and all that out, and you drove up and down the road three times. I don't get it. Like I got three people staying here who would agree with me. No, absolutely not. Um, I okay. just well, you're gonna have to deal with Facebook when when I get this report done, and I'm filling it out, and it is big. Good for you. Good for you, Junior. Good for you. And then <laughs> when I'm done with so this Facebook deal? report, I don't know what you guys are gonna do after that. What's your deal? Because I don't have signs out that shows you where my store is. I don't. I don't. The ten signs on the front of the store and the six flags on the trailer right by the road ain't enough. Ten is not and enough. You're flags about that. are not enough. We so, need illumination. Huh? We need illumination. The, the sun's out, boss. Not for long. What? I close at eight o'clock. It's pretty much dark. We need illumination. We need to be able to see the sign from the road, not hidden behind some Taco Johns. I'm not behind Taco John's. I'm across the street from it, buddy. Oh, I don't believe that for a minute. You're, all right, you have a good day, sir, because you're playing games all your time. All right, doing. well, Facebook is going to be in hey, touch. I'm I sure Facebook will be in One day you touch. get old enough, because I already know your age is old enough. You'll get old enough upstairs, you don't have to be childish, Bob. You know what? Facebook will be in touch, and it will probably be uh, flagged, and you there will probably be giving you a warning. How about that? A what? A warning. A for, Facebook warning. Oh, for what? For not having a sign? Yeah, for, yeah. Well, you're going to be reported for that as well. And for what? What are you reporting me for? Just uh, discourteousness to a fellow <laughs> customer.
Look, man, if you want to keep calling my store, I'll just call the police and have them get you for harassment. You want to report me on Facebook? Do all you want hey, to do. This is actually Colin over at Facebook. I was just calling to talk to you about some reports that we had. Sure. Just let's, wondering let's what's going on. Seems that uh, first report just says no signs. And it's the same guy. No, this is Are Colin you? over at Facebook, sir. Do what? My name is Colin. I am. Uh, I work for Facebook. Okay. And uh seems that you don't have any illuminated signs on your store and that uh, you have uh, advertised that you do have them. I, I'm, I'm lost. I'm confused. Oh, okay. Um, well, I got a report from someone that said you had no signs. And I'm just following up on that. Does that make sense? Is there is there a regulation? Or is there is it is it supposed to be that way? I'm lost. Well, I'm told that on your website or on your Facebook, rather, you said that you have an illuminated sign up top, and then this guy's trying to find it, and he he sees it's no. It's not an illuminated sign. Well, he says that you said you have an illuminated sign, and then he's upset with some sort of false advertising thing going on no. with that. Well, I mean, he's called the store like three or four times because he can't find it, but he knows the area. He knows. He knows where the other stores are that are exactly all the way around it. Every building is around it, but he don't know where the other one is. And he has no idea. Calling, he says he has no idea, but he knows the area very well. But he, And he's drove past it three times. There's a trailer out front with three flags on it. There's signs all over the front of the store and a big... Uh, well, I'm from Facebook, and, and I'm calling yeah. on behalf of him because he did re he put a port yeah. report in. He said something about being discourteous as well, but that that's something we can't re we don't really deal with that. That's not something that we deal with. But this false advertising thing is part of this new initiative. We have to follow up on stuff like that. I don't I mean I don't know. Is there somewhere on your Facebook where you said maybe you had an illuminated sign at all? No. No. That's wild. There's a picture on Facebook if you look, it shows the front of the store. Okay, let me I mean, pull that up. Let me pull that up real quick, and maybe that can just solve this whole thing for us. Yes, it's just a, you know, it's a banner that's hanging on the front of the store. All right, yeah, I'm seeing it. And I'm trying to, you know, and I'm trying to run a business, and he's telling me that I'm I'm poor at business, but he keeps calling as I'm trying to do credit cards for my customers. You know, I'm busy, and he's sure. I mean, he called like four times, sure. and he says he knows the area so well. I'm sorry, yes. So basically, it's not illuminated. We're going to, we can't really rule one way or the other here, so we are, we're going to let you continue with operations as is, but uh, let's just, let's just have this one be a warning, and I'm sure that it'll all work out. I'm sure he's not going to call back, and I'll talk to him about that as well, and, and I'll, I'll give him a warning as well. Well, and, well explain uh, to me why, like, it's, like, I, I have to have an illuminated sign. What's that? I don't get that. Well, if you're advertising illumination... Then, uh, I, I, I look on my Facebook page. You don't say that at all. It's nothing. Well, I'd have to go back into the databases, and there's just no way I can do that today. But, I mean, I can tomorrow. Maybe I'll go in tomorrow and see if that's true. But just for now, we'll do a temporary warning, and then Let me we'll see do if it on his this as guy well. right here, then. All right. Thank you. Excuse me? Thank you for calling the Trump shot. Steve, how can I help you? Steve, it's Colin with Facebook again. I'm just following up. Okay. Well, uh, as, you, as you know, I looked into the situation. I looked into mm -hmm. it a little bit further, in fact, and uh, we will be shutting down operations. Now, I know that's probably upsetting news for you, so I have my supervisor on the line is here right, that will be able to answer any questions that you have. Hello, okay. sir. My name is Tom. I am the supervisor. Can All you, right. Can you hear yes, him? Yes, sir. All right. So, I'm any sorry. questions you? So, unfortunately, we are going to be shutting down operations. Um, but uh, any questions you have and in, in, in an ability to appeal, well, that can all come from Tom here. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Well, yeah, I do. I mean, I, I don't. I don't understand why. Well, it, again, it has to do with the illumination uh, of the sign and uh, some sort of false advertising claim. And uh, I don't. I don't. I don't get how it is, though. Like, well, I mean, like, I'm just not really well educated, I guess, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Because I don't, I mean, I don't get what, like, 
It has to be a, a, a lit up sign to be a business. Well, it needs to be illuminated. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. So it needs to be an illuminated sign, unfortunately. So I could put lights on it. I could just buy some lights and shine them on it. Any, really any effort towards illumination is going to help. Yeah, you know, actually, so if you, you know, just had some basic Christmas lights and you just kind so of you, uh, went around the border of a sign with the Christmas lights, that would be totally fine for me. That would clear this entire I thing get, up. I could get some shop lights and uh, I'd put them up there and, you know, they're bright. And they're going to put it right on the sign. And, oh, yeah. Shop lights are that, absolutely yeah, perfect. I mean, that would be amazing. Yeah, that sounds really good. And, and then if you okay. send us in a picture of that, we will, um, we won't interrupt any sort of operations we'd be done there and I, right. and there's really nothing that the caller the other guy would have on you so that would probably be it <coughs> yeah um and okay but so, that would need yeah, to be, hopefully um, you can wouldn't I, get any other calls can I have from, a date? From the sky. well here's I'm the sorry. thing we probably need that in about 45 minutes uh i run my business by myself i can't just leave my shop i don't even have a way across town i don't live in this town i travel and do work that's... Um, could you possibly do it in an hour and 45 minutes? No, we can give you another I mean... hour. If you want to avoid I, interruption... I can do my best. If you want to avoid interruption, I would say an hour and 45 minutes. After that, then you're looking at an interruption of services. But um, any time before that, and, and we would be fine with what's going on here. Um, what, what really needs to happen is that... Um, we just need to convey this to the the guy who made the report and the the complaint. As I said, it was a it was a big report. Also, I should say we are you know Facebook is a pretty flexible company when it comes to dealing with its customers and uh, people that have pages on our website. So sure. we're more than willing to to help you out rather than this caller that made the complaint. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because I, and because in all honesty, like you know, I mean, it, I, at first you know I was riding along with the call with the guy. Um, because I've never had a call like that before, and of course you see what kind of shop it is, so it's you know it's very controversial, um, and I haven't had really no trouble since I've been here, so I totally you know I was kind of totally I was kind of thrown off guard, you know what I mean you know because I was explaining to him it was like you know the signs, uh, so I just you know I've never had anybody, I I just don't think you know what I mean I, I mean yeah, yeah, rules absolutely. are rules I get it but I just yeah, think the rules are the you know, rules he's the, he's the other side of the political part and that's fine I'm more of a business guy. But, uh, you know, that's what he wants to report. Well, he was more focused big, on illumination. To write a big report on something like that of, you know. Well, you must have been. I mean, I, just, personally, been. I did think it was a little petty. However, I am not one to judge. You know, but, someone has I know that. Exactly. I mean, I know it's out. petty. I mean, I am not to judge it just because of what it is. You know, and I've, I've never, well, out of the I don't four years, I've never had nobody ever here. call about my sign not being good enough. I don't want to be a stick in the mud here, but you must have done something to upset him or not. Uh, I don't mean, uh, I mean, after the fourth call, yeah, I hung up on him, um, and I told him honest so well that, and he knew every building that I named, and I'm literally within rock's throw of every one of them in the roads right there, and there's flags on my trailer and everything that not my signs are not good enough. That you know, what I mean, well, it's not even that I they just, weren't good enough; they just were, they just weren't illuminated at all. Can you understand I mean, that at I, least? I mean, I'm closed by the time it gets dark, and that's what another thing I don't get. If he wants to say it's not lit up, how does it need to be lit up? If it ain't, you ain't gonna see it anymore with the lights on in the day, then you are not. Or, no, you know I mean, what I mean? It's, it's about responsibility and it's about accountability. I do what? It's about re responsibility and accountability. Yeah, I get that. You have to be accountable for your store. Well, the thing is, too, so you know, we're we're, all, we're both just doing our jobs right now. Also, I'm not I'm not arguing that at all. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. I'm, my point is like I'm just I'm being reported over. Uh, you know, what I mean, not, it ain't got nothing to do. With but you understand we have to take these things very seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to do your job, sure. All right, so basically, it's an hour and forty five minutes, and I'll start the timer now. All right. And hold Let's on. do the best. Like I said, we're so flexible. What's the, now, can I, now my next question is, because I got customers in the store, and I'm sitting here, you know I mean? I'm dealing with this over my yeah, business. Yeah, they can help. You know what I mean? Over a guy made a report because my signs ain't illuminated. Yeah, the customers can help. Away. We have no problem with the customers helping, if that's what you're asking. No. I, I'm saying, what do I got to do if it's going to interrupt my my uh, my uh, service and all that? Yeah, your service will be so, interrupted. Okay, so if I don't get my lighting up in the next hour and 45 minutes, because yeah. you're setting the timer now, now hold on, here's so we're probably another an hour and forty three well, minutes about, by now. How about we push it to two hours? Would that be would that be better? No, nah, that's fun. You can leave it at an hour and forty five, probably because I'm probably not going to make it. 
I told okay. you I don't live in okay. this town. I don't have transportation. I run my business by myself. Well, if you can prove illumination by tomorrow, we can re-up your services. Absolutely. That shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. That's what I'm asking. Oh, yeah. That's, well, that's what yeah. I'm asking. If I you can have that, it on there by tomorrow, cool. then you could re-up my service by tomorrow. I'm not going to be, like, setting dead in the water for two weeks or whatever. Some yeah, BS. we would never want to interrupt services for two weeks if you get them up by tomorrow, at the very least. I have them up by tomorrow. It's the best Excellent. I can do. Excellent. All right. Well, there, um, is there is it? a little survey that I'd like you to take before we do get off the phone, if that's okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so on a scale of one to five, how um, would you describe the person who made the report to you on a scale of fairness? One, one uh, being negative, the least Negative fair. five. Oh, so v negative. And that's on the yeah. report. And then... Um, how would you, uh, on, on, we want to rate a number? Rate it political, because that's what it is. Okay, absolutely. And then for uh, for myself, and we've spoken a couple times now. How would you uh, rate my services one through five? Great. Yeah, we'll say we'll accept five. that. Five. Okay. Yeah. And then um, for my supervisor here, and uh, this one is more important for me, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, what would you sure. rate his services one through five? It's great. It's five, man. I mean, you guys are good. Yeah. So you we're explained to me. You broke it down for me. Yeah, we really broke it down, and I think that we're all at a, a fair understanding here, and we want to thank you sure. for using Facebook, and we are sorry that if we do have to end up interrupting services for a little bit. I understand. Well, you have a good Fine. day, sir. And, and also, do you have any questions before we get off the phone here? I do not. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. We'll be thank in touch soon. All you have to do is um, you have our phone number here? Uh, yeah, I got the number right here, yep. So just call call us back, and uh, when you have, um, or you could even just text us a photo of the illumination, and uh, we'll be able to uh, re up your services. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it, sir. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Jump shop. This. Hey, it's calling over to Facebook again. Yeah, sir. I got I got I got the lights. They're going up here about four o'clock. When I got my helper here, well, can't do it by myself. That is great news. That is good. I news. do have them. They're big old Christmas bulbs. They're not the little ones. They're bulbs. You well, know, there you go. Yeah, that should light. work out great. Um, so, and then, are, will you be able to send me a photo of those? At four yes, I will do that. Well, you want me to send you a photo of the the ones in the package right now because I ain't got them up to like four o'clock probably today. Well, yeah, send me a photo of the package, and then when they go up, send me a photo of that, and then um, sure. when I get those, I right, take photos, a picture of them at night too, so that way you have all three. Perfect. And then when I get a picture of all those, I'll send those over to the guy, and he he really won't have anything to say after that point. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Well, I'll let him know. He has been calling me under a like a private number, so I haven't. I'm I'm not sure. I won't be able to reach back out to him, but uh, if I'll he get, calls I me, could probably almost give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I looked deep enough in my phone, I'd find it. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I, I actually don't want to communicate with him, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah. I, but uh, if he does yep. call you again, just let him know that uh, after those two pictures, uh, we've finished the the case, um, and sure. there's nothing further he can do about it. And he can yeah. call and complain all he wants, and uh, nothing can really happen there. So, But thank all you right. for uh, complying with all of this. You've, you've hey, thank you for being patient with me. And, yes, I'll send you a picture as soon as we get off here um, to this number, right, that you just called me yeah, from? Yeah, this number here, just send a – we okay. accept photos on this. So a, a picture of the lights in the package and then later on yep. the day as well. That will be great. Yep, I sure will. We'll have all our bases covered. All right, man. I appreciate you being patient with me because, like I said, I'm not from here. I don't have uh, – just it takes me a while to make anything happen, you know, so. Not a worry at all. Thank you very much. Right. Appreciate you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Hey, what seems to be the issue over there? Issue over where? At the uh, at the store. Who is this? Uh, you give me a negative five to the Facebook guys for fairness. Is that true? Who? You told the Facebook guys that I was negative five in fairness. Who is this? Listen, I'm the guy who's calling about the signs. About the signs. On the front of the store, no illuminated signs. Oh, yeah, cuz, then you're still calling me? You gave me a negative five? Goodbye, dude. Have a good one. Yes, sir. I just want to understand your reasoning with the negative five. Hey, listen, listen, man, I got a business to run in. You're busting my fucking chops over aluminum sand because you're a dick. Shut up. Cry about it, dude. It's a comment, and you got a negative review. Who cares? You gave me a negative is five? Is your life over, buddy? Your life is over. There's an illuminated sign. Go drop by it. I'm not there anymore. Go in and talk to the other guy about it. Have a good day. Thank you. What the hell? Ooh.